All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nog. We are back with some more Portal 2 Community Workshop. Today, we're going to try and attempt Graveyard from Steam Stream, uh, one that's been in my queue for quite a bit. And the reason is I've been trying to put off medium to hard maps, but uh, let's jump into it. Um, so, yeah, medium to hard. A big thanks to TF for placing interesting exploits as well as Yorick for finding another exploit. No tight angles or tight timings. and trapping pedestal button is never used in the solution. Alrighty then. Let us throw ourselves in. See how we do. Alright, so we need a laser there. To activate that, maybe it will come through the funnel perhaps. Way to get over to there, it looks like to be. We need to be on the other right. We can get across here like that. Problem is, once we go across here, it doesn't appear like we can go back unless we can reverse this funnel, which we probably can looking at that ant line. So we can definitely come back. I'm guessing that is exit requirements. So it's a single laser for the exit. Excellent. So, for now, let us go in this direction. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Since I died, it's been a while. So what does the button actually do? What does it reset? Just resets that cube. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I guess, I yeah, the, the simple thing, the obvious thing here to do would be to take the cube. The only real thing we can do for a start. Then we can do this. And this, which means we can get safely up to the top. And then if need be, we could also do that to reopen that area. Fantastic. Okay. So we have that. Now, what would we want to do from here? Obviously we have a second cube, but to get said second cube, we are going to need to uh, hit that, aren't we? So, if we were to pull that through, we could potentially swap cubes and things. So I'm just thinking here, if I put my portal on there, facing that way, I think I'm going to want to have my poor cube facing this way. I think. I'm never too good with this sort of thing in portal. Just resave there, though. So we'll go across here again. So the plan will be: I'm going to pull this through here like this, and that missed the altogether. But that was right. That was effectively right. That was the cube was facing the right way. was just a little bit out of position. That might actually be more down to the fact that it's the laser, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so there might not be anything we can do about this. Just grab another safe spot and we'll have another attempt at this. Yeah. 
Yes, okay. So that's... I guess because it's not in the middle, is it? attempts at this. But it's not going to make a difference because of where it is. Alright, so kind of rules that out for me. As an option. Because that's portal placement helper by the looks of it. There's nothing there that we can actually do to alter the position of that cube or the laser coming out of the portal. Okay. So. Next thing I guess we could try. Be able to hit that from there. I would be able to hit that one potentially from there. Now the only problem with this is I don't know if this falls under like tight laser angles as such. Um, if we go back to the information. Let's double check. No tight angles. So, because what I was thinking was we could potentially do something and that would all depend on whether or not you class that as a tight angle I mean personally I don't But that's just my opinion, and everybody's opinion is different. So I think that's to prevent from hitting there, isn't it? I mean, I, I don't know. The, the jury's out, I guess. Tight angle or no tight angle? It's not easy to get through there, is it? I mean... Hmm. I don't know. See, I can't go through there without adjusting the cube. And I think I'll lose my position. Yeah, I lose where I actually want to hit the cube as such. So... That one I don't think is right, but potentially what we could do instead is we could respawn this cube. So we could take this through. On the assumption that it's automatic respawning, which it is, because there's no other button for it. Okay. Now we can do this. That gives us that. OK, 
Okay. I'll clear my portals. Now I can... Now I can do what? I can reverse this funnel. Do you know what I'm being quite silly about this actually. Take this out here. And I can actually use this to go over to here. Stay there. Now we can go back. So then, what we're going to want to do now is open that area. Okay, so let's now do this. Bring me the cube over here. I think I may have been a bit hasty though. I think I might need the other cube. If I had the other cube, I could set up the reversal and get across to there. But at the same time, I would still need to have... Just reload a moment. I think I, I need both the cubes. I think I've been too hasty potentially in taking that cube over to that side. So where are we up to? We are here, all the way back to here. Okay. So I'll respawn that. This will give us that. So we can set up that and that. Get the cube. And take the cube back. Save there. And we'll bring this cube just over here for now. We'll take this cube out. that cube from there by doing this. Okay. Now if need be So if need be now I could do this to reverse that. I was thinking I probably need to aim that from over there. That could be a, an option. I'm not 
sure. I can see it from here. Just that the problem we have from here would be we need to keep maintain a portal over here now, wouldn't we? To be able to do anything. So I don't believe that's the right thing to do. So going back to our other philosophy, we can now get across to the exit side. Now I could bring a cube over to here. So that's a thing we could do. Now... The problem here would be I can't see a way to get through this fizzler with both cubes and having keeping the portal over there. That's where the issue for me would lay. So I can remove that by putting the portal from the funnel on there to move that cube. But then we lose our portal behind there, so it kind of goes against what we need to do, in a way. Maybe I wasn't a million miles off doing this. So we could put this here potentially. But I think it would be more helpful to have it there so that we can actually use this, keep this portal and then move it when we need to. Now, again, though, the problem being now that we, how do we get back up to here? With that... pointing over there. do that. So I can point that over to there. 
get my pole in here and then we're back up to here. From here, this is where I would need to be able to get to the other side. That's what I'm not 100% sure about. Sorry about that. Go in there. Call the cube to drag through. I mean, that's something different. Alright, so what if I had this and this, like we had before? We had this. Pull on there, go through here. And then we open this up again. Okay. Again, I don't know if this would be classed as tight timing, but... If I could have grabbed that cube there and brought it over here, that changes everything. Could do that. Go across to here. then that would need to be on there. So then literally I would do bang, bang, and that would finish up. Okay, wait a second. Let me imagine for a moment that I had actually positioned this cube correctly for a start. Okay, so that is going to be there. We hadn't put it there. Okay, so I was thinking how would this work, but what we can actually do is we can use the we can use the funnel itself to drag it through to where we need to be. So we'll go through here. Just save here we'll save here. So what I'm actually going to do here is oh, do you know what? No. We're still okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it through. It's going to fall down, then it's going to drag it through a second time. No, it's not, because it's going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, dear me. So yeah, it all sort of hinges down on how I keep that top area open while being able to take this cube back up to the top. Now... I'm trying to think, what if 
had... I was thinking if the cubes were the other way around, then we'd be able to force... So let me just show you what I'm thinking at the moment. I don't still think it's right. I don't think it will work. I think I'll lose my portal behind that uh, fizzler surface again. But if I have the cubes the other way around, like so... And then we had... Just to recreate it, it's pretty much what we've got now. We had that, we go through to here. We pick up the cube. We take it through here to fizzle it. We can then reverse that, like so. But then we're stuck here. Because I can't go across here because I haven't got a portal anymore in there and this is what I feared I could however go back over to here so if I was to use this cube for something else I could then come across to here okay so what if what I'm going to do now quickly is I'm going to swap these cubes around like this I think it's more practical for this one to be over on this side I'm also thinking at the moment this one stays here Yeah, so this one stays here, which means when we take this one away, we still have that there. Okay, I'm going to save on this premise at the moment. We can then take this through here. We can leave it here off as lit, doesn't matter. So we're going to get the same outcome here. Now we can do this to open up the bottom area but now this is where we would want this is now where we would want to do this That doesn't give me anything different, does it? Unless I potentially had both the cubes. Again, may maybe I've made a mistake. Maybe the orange cube should be on the other side. Because what I could then do is I could pull it with the funnel, drop it in the water and respawn it. Potentially. So let's swap these round. Okay, so then we would need to take this over here, but not fizzle it. Then bring this one out. But again, the problem comes now down to... The, pro uh, the, the initial problem I see at the moment is that it comes down to, again, this being closed off. But let's not worry about that just at the moment.
Because now we have two cubes here. But I can't get across the gap in the water. Sorry, I can't get across this gap here. Aha. Well. I'm temporarily out of ideas. Maybe not. It's a little bit awkward at the moment because now I kind of want to get back over to there. Right, well, if I want to get back over there, then I'm going to have to do just this, isn't it? To be honest, there's nothing really awkward about that at all. The awkward bit comes here because... I really need the portal there to be able to pull that one out of the way. I mean, that would be an option if that cube was up there, it would respawn that there, but then I'd be stuck in exactly the same situation here. But yeah, generally now I think I am out of ideas, so I'm going to go into super think mode, see what I can do differently here, because at the moment it's, I think it's apparent that I am out of ideas. So I will be back in a few moments, hopefully with some progress and some ideas. Okay, so I've been playing around and I don't know if this helps, but here's what I've discovered I can do. Uh, I've discovered how to get a um, cube on the other side, basically. So can do this and um, we can do our normal sort of trick of taking this through here 
Doesn't matter if we respawn it or not. And I can actually use this panel here to be our laser source panel. So I can put that across to there, which allows me to then go back through into there if I need to. However, I don't need to. I just need the portal there for now. So now what I can do is I can pop this portal over to there. And now I have a way back to go over to here. I can drop down, pick up this cube into the funnel and wouldn't you know we have now got a way over to here which is pretty cool now the only thing I could see to do with this here would be to put that onto there which gives us two options pretty much we can either run the laser there and there which reverse the funnel. Well, that's not really much good to us because we can't use the funnel in that instance. So it'd be a case of directly powering this cube here, I believe. So to do that, we can do this trick again to pull the cube through here. Portal on there. Take the cube over to here. Kill it. And then we have that. So now that we have this... This is where things kind of start to... Where I don't know where to go from here. If this is correct, I don't know where to go from here at the moment. Because... If I was to do this and this, I can get back over to the other side. I can put a portal on there and come back through to the floor. But then we have nowhere to go. And I can't respawn this cube from that side because I don't see this panel. And by not seeing that panel there, what that means for me is... I can't, like, switch to the funnel, drag it through. And potentially, like, drop it down to there. So that's not going to work for me, unfortunately. So, my other thought process along this, as I just mentioned when I got the cube over to the other side, was if we leave this here... Obviously, we can do that, but like I, like I kind of alluded to, it won't help us because we don't have any portals free now to use on this funnel. So we have no, we can't use a funnel. So that's why I'm pretty sure we need to directly point one laser into the into the other, so to speak. And by doing that, I've just completely screwed everything, I know. So, but let's imagine we had that set up. So, th yeah, this is basically what we had before. Just I've changed the positioning of that cube there. But like I say, it's, it's really difficult... I don't have any way from over here of respawning that cube there.
I mean, we could go back to do this, but I'm pretty sure this is what we did originally, right? Where we respawn that and push that over to there. That's just what we had originally. And I'm pretty sure we would need... How, the, the, my, my big thing at the moment is how do I get a portal here? Get a portal down below. I need a portal there and a portal there. Which is why I was convinced that I need this cube over here to interact with this catcher here. To be able to do some sort of things and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, as of this moment in time, I had some new ideas, but they don't seem to have. Um, materialized into anything unfortunately so I guess it's going to be back to the drawing board with what we need to do here um, see what I was wondering a moment ago was whether or not there was anywhere uh, okay I wonder if this glass surface anything to do with anything however I don't really see what it would have to do with anything because I don't think I can see anything from here can I so I could point it down but this is what I was wondering over there I wonder if there was like an air underneath there that I could point a laser down somehow but from here um, I could point a laser down but then other than that, it would be a matter of pointing at a weird angle which we're not supposedly meant to have. But I'm I'm still 90% confident at this point that I need to direct have a direct laser into there without using portals to be able to utilize the funnel. But at the same time, I need to be able to have a portal over there. A portal there and a portal there. So I think placing that cube is going to be our last step before we do that bit there. It's almost like I get the cube and I replace it there. But I'm just guessing. So, yeah, i got to go back to the drawing board with this one. So, hopefully, real soon, I'll make some more progress and have some more ideas and we'll come up with something else to try. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I've been playing around for about half an hour. It's another day today. And I was just sort of positioning cubes just to sort of get an idea of how the ending move might pan out. And I think we could do something like this so the only thing I don't know about this is how I would get a portal down to there so I could get the cube through to there but in effect I could do this to get that cube back over this side which then allows me to open that up Put a cube, sorry, put a portal there and there to reverse the flow of the funnel. Then I would need to go up to here, switch that and drop into this funnel, which would then bring this one back across to here. And then with this in place, I could do that. I could then travel across to here. 
and then our cube would need to already be in that position there so this is my sticking point here but to get rid of this cube here I could do this wait till it's traveled all the way through and then swap that to that that cube would be down the bottom it would open up the exit and I could walk through so it's, it's a possibility the only thing like I say is I don't know how to get that cube down to the bottom in all of that process so it's an idea to work towards I don't think it's a hundred percent right but maybe if I keep that in mind we can maybe make some good progress throughout the rest of this map okay guys so nothing has really come from taking the cube over to there it's been a good 15 20 minutes again messing around with different things but it ultimately I, I can't see a way to get that cube or any cube like in the right position while I've got all that set up because obviously I need to open that up with the cube down here so then I went back to thinking okay so I probably need a portal on that side so I went back to thinking how can I get a portal over there and I've probably had one over there at some points but I've been sort of jumbling around and from doing various bits and pieces but I came up with this way which involves a respawn of the blue cube so we can travel over to here like this and then what we can do is go through to here and position this cube uh, actually I just need to make sure because messed this up a few times when I was testing stuff. Yeah, quite right. This needs to intersect the funnel like so. And then what I've I found out I can do, I can actually cause the blue cube to respawn using this cube and the funnel while being on the other side. Do that. We will do this to go back over to the other side. Then we'll swap this portal out for here. It's going to push the cube into the funnel. The cube will intersect with the laser and respawn the blue cube and now we have both cubes and we have a portal on this side which is something different however what I would now need to do would be either maintain the portal which I don't think I want to do because that limits my options drastically and I can't really I can't really do anything from doing that or alternatively we go back to what we were trying to do before which was using this To do various bits and pieces over here so whether or not we what I'm not sure is is if we need to where we need to use it exactly uh, we can put it here and then we could capture it from here just like that or we can put it at the front But both methods kind of we've kind of played around with this already in the past in in previous steps i feel so i'm not 100 percent certain what to do as i was to set this up like this let me just save here a moment because I think this is this could be useful. This will allow us to get back up to the top. And that will allow us to do that and that. I don't feel from this we have anything new. This is all stuff we've had before. So 
So what would be better would be if we went back again further to what we had before. And we positioned that cube. Uh, where is it? We positioned this cube over here. So we ignore the fact at the moment that we have ports on there. I mean, I, I, I still don't know because I feel like getting rid of that portal not the right thing to do. reposition this portal, this cube where it needs to be, which is here. I can then go through to here and up to there. But then the minute I do that, that's going to drop down, isn't it? Unfortunately, I made any progress at all here. Chain. Now I'm exactly back to. I end, oh, I just keep coming back to the same position. really don't know how to get around it. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I have worked it out. I have worked it out and we don't need the portal on that side once everything is set up. But um, let's just return back to like this state and I'll run through the whole thing from here. This is a very, very clever puzzle. And weirdly, I, I've kind of worked out, I've worked out most of the steps required. I just wasn't able to put them all together um, for some reason straight away. But now that I have kind of seen what we needed to do, it is such a clever thing to do. So, we are going to set all this up again. And we're going to respawn the blue cube. Oh, hold on. I need to go through the funnel, don't I? Yes, that's right. We'll go through the funnel here. And then we will pull that cube through to respawn out of the cube, like so. Once that's safely across, we'll do plop. Now, this is the, the clever part. We actually need both of our cubes on this side. So what we can do, and this was the, the sticking point for me, was how do I... I I'd kind of set a cube on here before, but I couldn't get my head around how I would respawn this orange cube. So what I tried is having both cubes over here like this. Now the difference here is that once I'm up the top, I can open up that fizzler, but I can also cause that to respawn while keeping that in position because I can drag this across, then change my portals out to drop that in the queue and that'll cause that to respawn. But there is another trick to it as well. That's, that's not the whole solution. So we'll do this to get up to the top like so. And then we'll set it up again. And now we're going to actually operate from this side of the barrier. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drag through the orange cube. And this is where it's really clever is I go through the funnel once it's dropped. And 
this cube will just continue to fizzle, which isn't a problem. But we'll come through the funnel and we'll drop into this funnel here. Something I had tried. I can't remember if I've tried it on camera or off camera because it's been multiple days. And I've tried lots of different things um, during this process. But yeah, this is where it is so, so clever. So we do this. We do this. That will respawn the orange cube. We then drop through into this funnel here. And then we will position that over to there. That gives us a way over to the exit. All the while, that blue cube is focusing on the exit catcher. And then what we need to do is get rid of this cube. And we simply do that by dragging it through the funnel. I had tried a couple of things before this. Um, I just like dragging it through and getting it to respawn. The problem is sometimes, occasionally when it respawns, it will land in the path of there so then it doesn't quite work so just pulling it through to the funnel here was the best the best way i saw to do it and then i simply put a portal there everything in its position and there we go that is an absolutely fantastic puzzle indeed it's got so few elements but yet it offers such a challenge to the player um it's taken like i said it's it's, it's taken me over two days the best part of probably two plus hours to solve this one but it is very very good indeed thank you very much for the suggestion and um steam stream i hope and look forward to playing more of your maps in the near future thank you very much everybody for watching i appreciate it as always and until next one i've been knock you've been awesome see ya